NewDB, in memory, live cache, everything running and by design. But now I have a problem with the blue line. These guys, these guys, I look at this again here. You know what? I declare the crisis is over. The crisis is over. Um, I get them. Um, my chief controller, Werner Sinzig. Werner speaking. Yeah, he is also. Um, I, I, I just fixed up. I, actually, I work on my new iPad. It's fabulous. So that's, uh, and the in-memory database really works well. Uh, but, but now I come to you. Um, I made a split-second decision, uh, but sales budget will go up. Um, okay. So since, since we have everything in one system, uh, I hope you can follow me. Uh, in the, I want to do uh, the 1.2 million more in the second half of the year, do uh, 6 million in the third quarter and 6.5 million in the fourth quarter. Can you okay. do that? Uh, Arthur, let me put you on speakerphone for a second. So the numbers you see, they come from our sales and profitability plan. Uh, and you see we are operating here still on the budget we have created um, last year and decided in December. Let me open this application. Um, so you uh, wanted to create a new plan, or should we just change the numbers in the existing plan? Yeah, I, I understand that we actually have to do a new plan, but I, I will, we, we keep yes. make a copy of the existing plan, and, and then you can change the actual plan. I know that management has to be compensated on the old plan. You know these are the rules. Uh, it has to be ordinary and uh, justifiable, or whatever it's called. The okay, for so uh, my question here is, um, Hasso, uh, what do you want to change? You want to change a category, or want, you want to change it by sales units? Oh, it's, I, I think it's you a, have to change it by category. It's a product category yeah. you want to change. Okay. You see here our sales planning applications has uh, several tabs uh, respecting the different view, views on sales on, on the plan, which is the sales view, the marketing view, and the financial view. Uh, for this kind of question, I go to the uh, marketing view. You see here my product categories. And you wanted to change this number to 6 million. Yes. OK. So what happens now is this figure gets distributed uh, down to the regions, down to the products, down to the months. And um, the system applies the existing plan data for this distribution. OK. And then you wanted to change the numbers in Q4 as well. Here we wanted to go to 6.5. Six five. Five OK. 650. 6,500,000, OK, the same happens here. Any other changes you want to, to do? No, I, I think that's it, Werner. Uh, and then uh, please don't forget to send an email to all sales managers. OK. A friendly one, not too harsh. Huh? <laughs> yeah? OK. They, they, so they, they declare that the crisis is over, and we have to look a little bit more uphill now. OK, now I save this data to the plan. And as it is the actual, the, the, the current plan, the active plan, you will see it then on your uh, iPad as well. And, and, and you think that is the planning now integrated into the current system? In the old days, it was always a separate system. And then it took another day to get it back in the old GP system. So this is no longer a separate system. This is all integrated in one system. And at the same moment, when I hit here and save the data, you can see it in all the reports. All the users can see it and, and so on. Then I, I, know you, I know you since I don't know how many years, 26 years. And you were always in costing and financials and so on. Is, is, do we make a step forward with this new software? Yeah, it, um, it creates more uh, consistency. So we do not have to take care for uh, any inconsistency for the different Excel sheets floating around. Um, the system is always reconciled between the different plans. Uh, it is much faster, meaning that I can uh, set up my plan without being interrupted by the systems uh, from um, let's say, so, long-running batch uh, uh, runs and so on. So when we have the next planning meeting in September, October time frame, 
of, we can do this then together. So the, the, the head of sales, right. the, the production, Peter Lawrence from production and, yeah. and myself, and we can do some simulations with the planning before we finalize the plan for uh, 2.11. And Hasso, uh, exactly that is what we can do. We can do it in the meeting, and what uh, I expect from that procedure is that there's also a higher commitment to the data we have decided to for the Yeah, that's what data. we need, commitment, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, the, so t t take a note that we, do, we, we change the way we do the planning in uh, fall this year and not do it the traditional way. We do five meetings on Wednesdays uh, every week and, uh, and then the plan is done. And, uh, yeah, it, it we, will we, speed up our planning process and as I mentioned before, I think the data are more reconciled and aligned between the business units and uh, the, right. the division. So uh, by the way now, um, let me have a look whether this really happened here. Well, that's pretty optimistic, but, but again, the, the uh, email has to be friendly. Don't forget this. <coughs> uh, I could do this all from an airport. Um, I told the guys who developed the demo that this is too slow because I promised that all transactions will be sub-second. When I said this, I had much more simplistic views in mind. To go against four different business objects, and each has 10 to 20 nodes, this is a pretty complicated application, even for a new DB in memory. Uh, as I said, it doesn't work on traditional databases. It's too complicated. We can do things now which are absolutely amazing. That was what Michel said. We have to relearn how to use relational systems. We have to get creative. Um, Michel didn't mention it, but the new DB comes also with the connection, direct connection with, uh, to system R. R? R. It's an open source system. It has to be, therefore, a little bit outside the database, but it's a full statistics system every student is using in uh, operations research and in business for complicated mathematical analysis of data. So we can do pattern matching, we can do prognosis, we can do the 200 day line, the 120 day line, the 90 day line, etc., etc. <clears throat> All this stuff comes basically. Not totally for free, but nearly for free now. What I don't know is, when I, a year ago I started to talk to people about this, I said, we are close that we might get something in SAP done. And I talked to some famous people in the Bay Area. CEO of a company you all know, this is a game changer. Every Monday I do a worldwide meeting with production, sales, and uh, services, and management team. Um, the time slot is moving two hours every time, so sometimes it's two at night, four in the morning, six, eight, then around the world so that everybody has, some, has once in a while the benefit of being up at night. He said this will change it. If I can ask questions, a follow-up question, and another follow-up question, the planner is there, the production manager is there, we can go into details, we can even look into uh, escalations and problems, and it's all at your fingertips. There's a completely different insight. We will run the company differently. 